This is Jimmy Wang reporting from Hangzhou. Beauty class is in session at the Mary Kay Cosmetics Company. These women are learning how to use Mary Kay products, which are introduced in several hour-long motivational sessions about how to lead one's life, how to be happy, and how to look good while doing it. The job of Mary Kay's beauty consultant is to teach women how to find their own beauty. Once women become more beautiful and confident, they have the courage to do things they had never dreamed of doing. My teacher at Mary Kay told us that successful people are usually extroverts, so I have tried to change. Many young women who have moved to China cities without friends say they not only find the company's gospel of self-empowerment and financial independence attractive, but that it gives them a comfortable space to socialize in. I come here whenever there's class, or I make an appointment with my friends. Here, all the women respect me. They wish their skin can be as good as mine when they're 62 years old. The things that girls like the most is to make themselves look younger. Even so, critics of Mary Kay, who contend it is a pyramid scheme, say it takes advantage of women by using peer pressure to persuade them to buy products they don't necessarily want, while motivating its workforce with gifts and the illusion of upward mobility. Geng Chunxiao was invited to try out the makeup here through a friend when she first arrived in Hangzhou. Now, she is a sales girl for Mary Kay and regularly brings in her own clients, mostly young women like herself. I found people who use Mary Kay products not only have a better appearance and are more self-confident, but also have a high quality of life. They're rewarded with things like a pink sedan and trips overseas, which are very good rewards and attract me a lot. The rise of direct sales companies in China is a signal of the meteoric shift in attitudes that is taking place amongst newcomers to China's cities. I worked in a factory for 20 to 30 years. Other than work, I would go home and take care of my kids. I had very little contact with people outside of my town. Now the thinking has started to change. It's not the same as before, just buying groceries and making dinner. Wu Tianzheng is not alone. As more and more Chinese women move from the countryside to China's cities for work, many are eager to project a new self-image that is modern, urban, and sophisticated.